say that you spend more time sitting or standing every single day with what? your schedule that you've got. I have a feeling it's standing, but what would it's, you say? Well, it's either standing or laying down. See, <laughs> I like to lay in bed when I'm not working. If I can be, uh -huh. I am watching this show from my bed. You are so good. I am? And we didn't even tell her to say any of that. It's uh, true. Anyway, it's true. You're going back to the topic itself, you know, at the top of the show, we were standing up, and there was a reason we were doing that. We yes. were standing for better health. Sitting too much can be bad for your health. That's according to recent studies out there. So we've got natural living expert Jen Bolden here. Jen's going to tell us why we should stand up a lot more. There's a reason, a good reason. There is. We've heard about this a lot, though. Why? We have, and it's not just yeah. extending your life, but it's also increasing your health. Mm -hmm. It turns out that, that sitting is incredibly bad for you, and you can't counterbalance it by exercising more. A lot of us sit more than eight hours a day. Yeah. That's a lot. Our bodies just weren't designed for that, mm -hmm. and so our metabolism starts to get whacked. We start to develop more diseases like diabetes. But also we start to get that whole little tire thing happening. Exactly. And what the, you need to do slouch. Yeah. So what you need to do to be healthy, to keep your metabolism up, mm -hmm. is just stand up. Okay. But if you have an office job, right. sometimes you're like, ooh, what do I do? So let's talk. You have some yeah. tips here for you have an office job. You've got right. to get yep. your work done. What can you do throughout the okay, day? Okay, here's right? the most progressive thing that you can do okay. is get one of these really cool. Oh my convertible desk. This oh, is from Steelcase, like right? That. You've got to get so your here you go. to spring for one of these desks. Uh, yeah, you, just right? mention the word yeah. like safety and health wow. and Asha and then it will get going. Yeah, <laughs> so if you don't have the luck of getting one of these cool things, uh -huh. then you can get one of those yoga balls, like the stability balls right there. Yes. This one here, right? And the whole concept is you are using your 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 core mm -hmm. to stay situated. So that's going to okay. burn calories. Mm -hmm. That's also going to give you muscle tone. My Pilates instructor will be very happy. Oh, there you go. Saying, right? There you go. And so even just standing, you're, you're doing muscle tone because usually you're going to go back and yeah. forth and yeah. Okay. Or a stool. Or a stool or instead a of the stool chair. stool because you're not taking that passive position. You know, when well, you are... I got to make sure. Exactly. It is. And when this you're... This isn't a prop. This is actually like bolted in and everything. I can sit on it. You can sit on <laughs> it. Just check out. You can sit on it. I'm not going to. Sure. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> things have happened on this show and exactly. I don't want that to happen today. Okay. Right. So no, you see today, how your back... Good. What's the difference You see how your back is here? straight. You see yeah. how you're having to engage your core. And you have a beautiful posture. So your shoulders are back and your chin isn't going forward, which happens in our chairs. We kind of do this thing. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's I have horrible good. posture normally when I'm sitting in a chair. That's why I have to prop myself up because otherwise I'll be sitting like this. That's why, yeah, so by this the forces way, you. if you have little yeah. girls, ballet, great Perfect. training right. for them. For, exactly. For, great training. Okay. So you burn more calories like literally this, chewing gum than you do in that passive sitting position. So just remember, mm -hmm. if you can't get one of these nifty things, mm -hmm. get up during the day at least every 15 minutes. Wow. You can do walking meetings. You can take a phone call, mm -hmm. walk around. I love to do meetings and walk around the block. Right. You can put your printer way over there, you your were trash even, can. One of the tips was also, you know, stop emailing everybody in the office. Exactly. Yeah, walk over to them and talk exactly. to them. Exactly. I you agree. Have to, right? And there's great yoga poses, actually, at thewelldaily.com. Mm -hmm. It's a free daily email. You can get yoga poses for oh. your office. So it's not like you're going to have to do a downward dog and embarrass yourself. Right. These are appropriate yoga pose off for the office. This is the, and, and again, uh, uh, this is assuming you have an office. If you've it's got assuming. a cubicle, this is going to be a little and more. And I work maybe, from home, right? and so you really get in that mode of like, hey, yeah. hey, and don't hey I just can do what I want. Home, don't talk on the phone sitting. That's I right. Do, Stand I do up. the walk and talk. Right. I'm always walking and talking. Yeah, right. this is why <laughs> you're doing thin. other things, right? This is why right. you're thin and you're going to live to 102. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> my dad's here today. My grandmother, my, my grandmother lived to 106 and a half. She was the oldest citizen in New York State. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes, and the mayor even came and gave her her, That's great. And speaking of which, your mother is here. Her it's birthday. her birthday. So happy happy birthday, 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 Linda Bolden. Yes. <laughs> One more year. One more year onto your life. See? All right. And now that we're not done with getting you healthy, up next.